All right, welcome back. Lord Havoc, Marvel Champions, Custom Content, Stream Extravaganza. Uh, I was on earlier today, and I've returned. I've made a couple of changes. Um, uh, not to the quest itself, but to Han. Fix a couple of Han's cards. Um, oh, actually, no, I did a lot. I did actually change Marina and Talos slightly. Um, yeah. But other than that, everything else is the same. If this is your first stream, thank you very much uh, for joining me. I stream custom Marvel Champions content. Uh, at the moment, I'm streaming my own custom content. Uh, I do so. I do stream the community, um, other people's cards and stuff. Um, but uh, for now, I'm doing uh, for this stream. I'm doing my own. Uh, I've made a custom scenario called the Bounty. So it's Star Wars Marvel Champions, and I've got a custom hero, Han Solo. So let's do it. Without further ado, Captain Solo, Alter Ego. <coughs> let's do it. Six cards. Um, oh, I should have fixed the colors. Uh, not the greatest opening hand. I don't need that. Keep that. Don't need that. I'll keep that. Keep that. I don't need. Oh. Yeah, I'll keep that. Let's get rid of these two. Mulligan those two. Turn the tide in the first aid. Not the greatest. Alright, search for my gun. Which I fixed up. Um, use turn the tide to put my gun into play. Comes in with four counters. Um, just use first aid and shoot out to put enhanced physique into play. And then immediately use it. Oh. Put plan B into play. Um, you know what? I'm not kinda under surveillance. I want to I wanna see what happens if I do go to the next game, like what happens and stuff. So let's pretend I don't have under surveillance. So I'll use plan B to use under surveillance. To I'll use under surveillance for plan B. And do two points of damage. How's that? Which ignores retaliate. We'll do that instead. Just let's just see what happens. Captain Solo. Sorry, I should have Captain Solo before I did plan B. But anyway, it's the same two, four. One, two, three, four, and again return ignores retaliate because of ranged. And that's it. That's my whole hand done. Reset. Get five cards. The Falcon, some resources. Yeah, that's all right. I'm cool with that. All right. Uh, boom. Do the top three cards. One, two, three. So we did get one thug. Uh, they take a point of damage from Han's ability. Uh, then Verena will attack for three. Uh, do I have any defensible stuff? No, so I'll just take it. One, two, three. Oh, wait, I didn't give her a boost card. One, two. Uh, then this guy will attack for two. And because he attacked, I okay, gave a threat. And then an encounter card. IG88. Um, he would have gained toughness, but Han's ability knocks that tough off before he even gets it. And my turn. You 
use genius to give me a soaker and get a card smooth talker that's handy that is handy although now I don't want a plan B hmm What to do, what to do. I'm gonna plan B. Uh, let's see what happens. I mean let's you gotta risk it for the biscuit, eh? You can't just you can't play it safe. Random and it is Falcon. I'm happy with that. Take those three back. Uh, plan B. So who am I plan B? Is it Um, let's say it's IG eighty eight because that ignores retaliate. I'm going to strength to put our surveillance team. I would normally not do that. Um, I usually wait for Lando to do that, but I mean, who knows? Lando might not show up for another hour, so uh, I'm going to just immediately use it. Um, which just leaves me with smooth talk, which is fine. I can act about using the enhanced physique. So Han Solo will spend a counter to kill to do four points of damage to IG-88 which means retaliate doesn't take kick in and Ahsoka will do a point of damage to this guy done let's get four cards a lot of resources I need to change how that's worded because to make an attack indicates that you have to exhaust it doesn't make a lot of sense what's it called? trust me Solo. I interrupt to deal damage to the attacker equal to his attack. This attack results in the defeat of that enemy to prevent all of that damage. I'm sure there's a better way to word that. There has to be a better way to word that. I mean, it's essentially a, it's kind of it's it's kind of like a retaliate.
Yeah, there's got to be a better way to word that. <coughs> because I want to use it, right? I mean, I need to make sure it makes sense. There's no point having a card that doesn't make any sense. Otherwise, it's just a dead card. And nobody wants a dead card. Nobody wants that. Fixing up that card, make it. This needs to make a little bit more sense, I think. And splash. Exciting. Oh, it's only one twelve. Okay. That's handy. Otherwise, it's very expensive for what it does, right? that okay let's just fix this card Okay, so it's still an attack card, so it's still an attack per se, but it just does equal to his attack. Interrupt to deal damage equal to his attack. Let's let's see if that makes a little bit more sense. Okay, so um What did I just do? I just reset and got my cards. Yeah. Is it still my turn? No. It's not my I just got my new card. Right. Sweet. Uh, threat. Three cards. One. Nope. Two. Nope. Three. Well, we fat. That's not good. Uh, it comes in with toughness, but hand size ability knocks the toughness off. Um, but he does deal two damage to... A character I control it's not the same as an attack so I can't use trust me for an enemy attack it's not an attack so it's just the two it's just the the two damage so I'll, I'll take it um, Verena attacks I'm going to defend with Ahsoka Salt, nothing. So she's doing three. I'm going to use energy to play. Trust me. So when a friendly character can take any amount of damage, Hansel may interrupt to deal damage to the attacker equal to his attack. That attack results in the defeat of the enemy, prevent all that damage. 
Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. I've, I've miscalculated this terribly. Let's try that again. Marina's attacking for three. I'll smooth talker. Blink. So I'll take the damage and smooth talker, so I take no damage and I draw a card. Oh, there's Lando. The irony. Alright, okay. Now these guys attack. Um, a friendly character you control. So that's me. So Hul Sansa, Han Solo. We'll take it. Um, from this guy. I'll spend two to trust me. Wait, does friendly character mean yourself? It does in Lord of the Rings, but I don't know about this. Marvel Champions Friendly Character. Oh yeah, it's also your identity, right? So that makes sense. So I'll interrupt to do two points of damage back. One, two. He's dead, which means I take no damage, although he did attack, and so he does one point of threat. And then Ahsoka will block Fett and die. So the idea was to save Ahsoka, but I'm not spending all that just for Ahsoka to live. Oh, he was villainous, so he gets the thing. It doesn't really matter what he gets. Two, there you go. Boom, hit her for five. She's definitely, definitely dead. Okay, encounter card. Dengar. Comes in with toughness, but Han Solo's ability knocks that off. So that's done. My turn. This is not looking great, is it? Um, genius and Endurance is going to get me Lando, who puts an extra token onto the surveillance team. Um, I'm going to immediately use surveillance team to knock a thread off. I don't know why this thread over here. Let's get rid of that. Um, and hand is in a lot of trouble, so I'm going to flip to alter ego mode. And Lando's just going to kick back. He's about to die. Actually, Lando's going to take a pot shot at, at Boba Fett. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why the hell not? Alright. Reset. Six cards. Cool. Boom, three cards, one. Oh, yep, streets come with a minion, didn't realize. Fall on, another minion. All right, so this guy takes a point of damage. This guy takes a point of damage. And then three, another minion. This guy takes a point of damage. Well, that's game over. That is game over. Han, Han can't take all of them. Fett could, but Han can't. <laughs> that's madness three minions from that effect that's crazy <sighs> yeah that's just not happening Han doesn't like a lot of minions <laughs> he just he can't handle it too many minions and he runs away it's like that scene in the new hope of all the stormtroopers he's just like nope I'm out of here one on one, not a problem, but six, five, was that five millions? Nope. That ain't gonna happen.
Alright, well, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm going to have to change to fit. Like, it is, it's getting a bit crazy now. I accept defeat with Han. Actually, no, you know what? Let's do Luke. I, just, I can't stand the thought of playing Fed again today. Like, I love him. Don't get me wrong. He's awesome. But it's just too much. So let's take that out. And then let's clean all these up. obligation out of here. There it is. Bounty. Got that. Reset this. Reset this. Let's grab a look. Where is he? Yeah. There he is. Again, doesn't make a lot of sense. Thematically, but it is what it is. It's Luke, and he's he's Ghost Ben, and he's health back. <coughs> so ten for young Luke. So these are all good. All right, let's see what happens. <clears throat> During deck building, you include force upgrades for any aspects. Search your deck for a weapon. Uh, a special put force ghost bend support card aside out of play. So there he is. Uh, let's grab six cards. Let's rock it. Twin heroes and Princess Leia in the same hand. That's pretty cool. I don't think that's ever happened before. That's pretty sweet. I'm actually going to keep that hand just because I've never seen Leia and Twin Heroes show up together at the same time. So Leia is my support card. Luke Skywalker gets plus one thwart. Um, as an alter ego action, you can sacrifice Leia to generate a wild resource. Um, or shuffle it back into your deck. You don't lose it forever. And Twin Heroes is his team up card. Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia. Remove four threat from a scheme, ignore a crisis icons, Luke Skywalker gets plus two defense to the phase, um, or draw two cards. Whichever one you want. And the rest are just basic defense cards. So, yeah. Let's just search for his lightsaber. Is um, and spend strength. Put it into play. Swap to Luke. Um, let's use never back down to play Leia, and then play Twin Heroes. And draw two cards. Um, power in all of us and not today will pay for Jedi Guardian upgrade, max one per deck play only if your identity has the Jedi trait you may only use weapon upgrades with a lightsaber trait 
Uh, if you have a lightsaber upgrade equipped, your identity gets plus two attack and your basic attacks gain overkill. Um, the lightsaber itself is whenever making a basic attack, he gets plus two attack and gains piercing. When making a basic defense, Luke Skywalker gets plus one defense against retaliate one. To use retaliate against a ranged attack, exhaust this card. So he has to use his lightsaber to deflect the bolt black. Or hero action, you can exhaust this card because let's say we generate a energy resource. Uh, the only card I've got left is Heroic Rescue, where I can, when a friendly character, and the, including those controlled by other players, would take any damage, exhaust Luke Skywalker, prevent all of that damage, draw a card. If this effect is targeting Luke Skywalker, do not exhaust him and do all draw a card. Um, and then Luke himself, 2 2 2. Your response. After playing an identity specific event card from your hand, you may choose to shuffle it back into your deck instead of discarding it, which I will do every single time for Heroic Rescue. Um, and the other one that makes him ready. So either of those cards, well, that's what I'll be doing it for. Well, that's a pretty good opening hand. Can't complain about that. First round, I've got my lightsaber, I've got the, my Jedi Guardian training, um, and my, my class. And I've got Leia to help me out. That's pretty sweet. I can't complain about that. So I might as well just attack. Attack for four. Attack for six. I'm actually attacking for six. It's pretty good. And retaliate. So she does retaliate because I didn't have ranged. So oh, so I retaliate for one. Boom. I'm happy to do that. Six for one. Those are good odds. Uh, ready. And get four cards. Back to my opening hand. There's my robe. Oh, I can't complain about this. This is good. All right. One. One. Oh, there you go. Minion. Two. There's a clue gone. Does that mean she's bumped up now? Three. I'm just going to chuck this up here, just so I know that she's meant to have a bonus. Actually, well, you know what? I'm not actually. Oh no, I'll just put it here. I should change it that it's. Um, uh, attach them to her. I think I might do that. Attach the clues to her, and then you get them when she's defeated. Yeah, I might do that. Makes a bit more sense. All right, so yeah, so she's now a three, four. Uh, this guy though, it's only if uh, if it's in play and the discard pile is not in play, so he doesn't get the bonus. He's still only a two, two. All right, uh, Verena will attack. I will defend. She's attacking for three plus. One is four, plus she's got a clue, so she's attacking for five. Um, and it's ranged. So, she's attacking for five, I'm defending for two. So I will. I'll use Defiance so that it ignores the boost. So she's now only doing four. Then I'll use um, No, you know what? Bugger this. I'll just I'll just heroic rescue. Yeah, I'll just heroic rescue. So I'll take no damage. Do not exhaust. Do not draw a card. So I'll just I'll just cancel that five points of damage. Bugger it. This guy then attacks for two. Um, yeah, I'll. I'll defiance to pay for desperate defense, which gives me a defense of four, which means I block, and then because I took no damage, I'm ready. Do that. 
Cool. Uh, then encounter card. Another hunter. Okay, my turn. I'm going to generate a energy and I'm going to use that to pay for my robe. So I know I get plus one defense and I can exhaust. Oh, that should have been shuffled back in. Um, I can exhaust Luxor Road Social Deck for a Force event and add it to your hand. Um, so I'll do that. I'm going to look for this one. Although, what's the one? What's the Speed Force one? What's the Speed? What's this one? Force Train. Yeah, I'm actually going to go with that one instead. Add that to your hand, shuffle your deck. Um, and then kill one of these guys. Because remember, I'm doing four. Uh, should I have hit her? Nah, these guys are going to start slapping me if I don't do something about it. Ready. Get four cards. Yep, there's another rescue. Thank you very much. Awesome. Threat. One. Nope. Two. Yep. Three. Yep. He gets a tough card. Um, she attacks. I'll defend for. Nope. I won't. I'm going to heroic rescue. So she attacks for three, four, five, six. Doesn't matter. I'm fine. Now these guys attack. Two, two, two. Hmm. Oh, let's make the shuffle that back in. Um, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Overkill and ranged. I have no defense cards. I'm defending for three, so I'm not worried in terms of damage. I'm defending for I mean, I'm defending for four, so. Um, but then I can retaliate. I might just knock. Oh, I've got a lightsaber. I don't care about tough. Yeah. All right. So I'll defend against this guy. And retaliate back. Oh no! I'll retaliate against this guy because he's the one that does overkill. And then I'll take the four from these guys. One, two, three, four. With hero action, I can only ready on my turn. Okay, encounter card is get up. A villain at each minute engage with you attacks you. Well, that's death. 
three, five, seven, nine. Wow. Lukey. Even Lukey copped it. What a magnificent first round. I'm shocked. I'm shocked, I tell you. That's really strange. <laughs> let's try let's try it again. I'm almost tempted to grab Fett and just make sure that this quest is just not too hard. Like I just... Because when I played Fett, I just annihilated it. I'm actually a bit worried now. I'm going to grab... I'm going to grab Fett. I just need to see this get done. Otherwise, something's wrong. A quick search of this. I'm sure there is a guild hideout in here. Because if there isn't, that means I'm missing one. I use the same picture for slicer system that I'd used for the bounty clue card. That's confusing. Where's I guess not. I guess I'm just wrong. Which means I'll grab one and put it in there. Weird. Alright, so there's that. There's fit. There's ease. There's hit points. Um... Yeah, yeah, he starts on 10. I thought he started on 11. Okay, guess not. I'll just make him too OP. Alright, uh, there's that in there. Oh, no, it just changed the obligation. Get rid of Luke's obligation and put that in instead. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Start with four. Which may not sound like a lot, and you're right, it's not a lot. <laughs> um, well, straight up, I'm going to put Bouncy Target on Verena. Everything I do against it is one extra point. Oh, actually, I can't do that until I've done this. <sighs> Gotta do everything in order. I'm gonna mulligan these three cards. Oh no! It's even worse. Alright, put Bouncy Target on here. Things to fit. Oh no, this is just not good. Put health back up to 12 and then take off two for his attack. He takes retaliate one. This is this is bad. In size three, which we're not going to get anything. I'm just going to discard all three of these cards. I need identity cards. This is terrible. What a bad start. Uh, so, ready, 
Get a new hand. Oof. One. One. Oh no. Balance. Nope. Nope. Thank God. After Valence attacks and damages you, choose to discard and upgrade your control. If this cannot occur, must miss about cannot. You take two direct damage. Okay, having spelling mistakes. That's just embarrassing. Talos. Oh, I'm going to do an extra point of damage. Because of, because of bouncy target. Oh, sorry. That was very close to the microphone. I apologize for that. That was very loud. Um, yeah, there's an extra point of damage. And then I get two cards if she gets defeated. Well, she's going to attack. And... Now I've got nothing. Oh, wait a minute. When defending against enemy attack, ignore each boost and each boost for the. Yeah, I'm going to survival instinct. So I'm going to defend. Let's see what happens. So three. And nothing. It's just the three, so I don't need to use that card anyway. So I take point damage. Uh, this guy then attacks. Choosing this guy an upgrade, but cannot occur, and it cannot. You take two direct damage. So I'm taking four. Wow. Wow. Counter card. Add threat to the main scheme equal to the number of side schemes in play. If there are no side schemes in play, search in deck for a side scheme, reveal it and put it into play. So I get to search for one. Which one do I want? Now the carriage does not refresh. The wheel. Yeah, let's do that one. It has no negative effects. Other than insight one. I'm happy with that. Um, X is equal to minions and allies. There's only one, so X is one. It's fine with me. All right, um, that's it. My turn. This is this is just terrible. This is just terrible. Um, well, I can't afford to do anything except for this one. So let's do it. One, two. And discipline killer and do four to this guy. He's still alive. Reset and I'm flipping because I am in trouble. One, two, three, four. Oh, hallelujah. Please. Praise Jeebus. Wowza. <sighs> All right, threat, one, nope, two, nope, three, nope, okay, 
All right, we're doing. It's it's working for us. Farina will now scheme for two. Uh, balance will scheme for two. And we get any counter card. Black Curse Santon comes in with tough. My turn. Oof. Which one do I want first? The Flamethrower or do I want Steady and Quick Strike? Well, there's no Steady and Del Quick Strike. So let's well, energy to Flamethrower. Actually, actually, you know what? Should I do this instead? Should I energy to Ahsoka? Gives me a card. Yeah, that's fine. And then helmet and slice the system. And my flamethrower. So if I got an ally at least. Just play with three counters, exhaust. Playing for a remove one fuel counter, deal fight damage divided as you wish. Engaged with you. So if Ahsoka knocks off this dude's toughness, does a point. Flip to Boba. And then flame frog. I can do one to balance. No. Yeah. One to balance. And then four. Curse, curse Anton. And then Boba can then hit him for two. So he's still alive. It is okay. I get a hit point um, because I've got a piece of armor, and now my hand size goes up one, so I've now got four. I can't have bounty hunter allies, so that just becomes a resource, which is a shame because he's awesome. Um, and there's absolutely no point having slave. So this is just all resources, and he had a bunch. This is just it's madness. Uh, one, boom. So this triggers, and we go to 2A. Your target is proving elusive, and having to deal with the various scum of the galaxy is slowing you down, but you'll locate them. It's only a matter of time. Well, response after resolving step one of the villain phase is go to the top two cards in can deck revealing means put them in play. Um, okay, zero. Um, okay, so because I triggered the next stage, that doesn't trigger because it says after, and this happened for, and this doesn't trigger because I haven't done that while this was in play yet. So, a bit of luck, but. Not necessarily. It's a small bit of luck, but it's a bit of luck. Um, and there's just uh, Boba Fett just beating the crap out of some poor dude, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Um, and if there is, if there is no force response, if there is no villain in play at the end of the player phase, discard this game and move to three A. That's on the other card as well. But there is a villain in play, obviously, so I'm just being ignored. Uh, right. So now. Verena attacks and Ahsoka will block it. So she's attacking for three, four, five. So Ahsoka just cops it. There you go, Ahsoka. Uh, Black Kurzenstan Stan attacks. I'll defend. Wait, is this a response? Oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Good 
Because as soon as I defend, his force response happens first. After Black goes attacks and damages a character's stun attack. So he attacks for three. I'm defending for two. I take a point of damage, which means I'm stunned. Which means I now can't do this. I mean, I can still do it, but it doesn't do anything. Because all it'll do is just clear the stun. <laughs> Which means I can't kill Black Kurdstan. It's Kursantan. Oh, that's just terrible. But anyway, I got rid of the stun at least. I guess that's not better. It's not the, it's not the worst thing. Uh, encounter card. Rival Hunters. When we each bound hunter minion attacks the hero engaged with, no attacks are made this way. Search the encounter deck. There will be an attack. You'll attack for three. And I get stunned again. <laughs> Oh, wowza. That's that's crazy. I'm on one hit point. One hit point. Alright, ready? Oh, no, I don't, I don't even ready. What am I doing? I can't play Bosk. I can't... There's no point playing Slave 1. <laughs> I think this quest is too hard. I've, I've outdone myself. Let's do it again. <laughs> Let's reset. This is crazy. Crazy talk. I could flame. I can't even. Yeah, I could flame for him. It's not an attack. That would be enough to kill him at least. <laughs> you know what? Never give up. Never surrender. What is this? What would Balthazar think of me at this moment? If I just gave up. It's just not right. Alright, all right, let's just do it. Flame, where's Flame Rarah? It's a waste. It's only doing one point of damage. But, hey, I just got to kill this bastard. <laughs> He's done to annoy me. And then I'm going to flip to Alter Ego because I'm just getting hammered. Absolutely hammered. Um, I can't use Boss because there's no point in using Slave 1. I'm going to keep this. Get rid of these. Reset. And then get... What is it? Four, five, five minus one is four. So I get four cards. Yeah, ne never give up. Again, another card I can't use. But I got my armor. That's pretty sweet. I'm pretty happy with that. One, one. Yep, there we go. Minion. Nope. And two. Nothing. Arena will attack. Uh, no, she won't. I'm in Alter Ego mode, so she schemes instead. 2 plus 2 is 4. 2, 3, 4. And this Street Scum will scheme for another one. And then the encounter card is. Can our Alter Ego gain Surge? Okie dokie. Next one is. Underworld's power, when revealed, give each player X plus one face down encounter cards where X is the number of clue cards they control. Um, do I have any clue cards? So I just get the one X, so get rid of that one, get rid of that one. And then another minion. A trade X partner, bounty hunter scum. Quick strike, which I'm in Alter Ego, so it doesn't apply. A trade X partner's attacks gain piercing. He's not happy. Not happy at all. All right, my turn. I'm immediately going to heal. One, two, three. Uh, use genius to give me my armor. Give me another hit point, and my thing goes up by one. Um. Gonna flip to Boba Fett and use dive note and use IG88 to ready and then use an attack to get rid of stunned and then use the flame thrower to do five points of damage divided any way I like. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five. Uh, 
uh, get rid of dive bomb because I can't use it and reset so my hit my hand size is now three four five minus one is four okay so this is why you don't you don't, don't give up never give it never give up never surrender it's uh you know it, it, I'm still in the game I'm still in the game uh, boom one two oh there's a clue gone that's a shame that is a shame and Varina attacks I will I will defend. I will defend. So I'm defending for three. So three plus nothing is three. So I defend. need to use this I'm going to unflappable so that I can use never back down it gets me plus two defense which I don't need but I want the whole stun ability I want to stun it which annoys me um, and then this guy attacks so I'll just take the one. Oh, but then the armor stops it Reduce the damage by one, so done. Street scum does can't do anything against me, and then encounter card is a clue, yay! Praise be. All right. Go. I'm happy with that. That pleases me my turn okay um i'm going to use strength to play slice the system which does removes three threat but it moves six if the bounty target is attached to an enemy bounty target is currently attached to an enemy so i'm actually going one two three four five six down to one, so that's handy. And then I'm going to use first hit to ready. And I'm going to kill this guy. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to kill him. He's not doing anything to me. I'm going to hit her for two. And then an extra three. Because of bounty target. Um. Does she still retaliate when stunned? Yeah. Yeah, no, so retaliate still happens. So I take my retaliate damage, which doesn't happen. Oh, it's not an attack. Retaliate's not an attack. Oh, man. <laughs> Otherwise, he would be OP. I mean, seriously. It's ridiculous. I mean, this, like, this I get. It's like, I don't care about these assholes. But yeah, she should be firing back. Um, he's not impervious to damage ever. I mean, he still gets hit. <laughs> so, yeah. That would be crazy. All right, so I've got nothing left in my hand. I still need to manage to do some damage though, so that's pretty cool. And she's stunned, so yeah, I'm happy with that turn. 
ready. Um, and these guys I can just keep ignoring. Yeah, I'm good. So my hand size is now currently three, four, five. Um, I need some more uh, armor stuff. Where's my armor gone? Madness. Alright, one. Top two cards. Nope. Yep, Dinga. There you go. Get some toughness. There you go, buddy. Um, you know what's bad when Dinga's going up against Boba Fett? They're meant to be friends. Alright, uh, Verena would go to attack, but she can't because she's stunned. Ha <laughs> ha! Got that. Uh, which means these guys. So he attacks. I'll just. Doesn't matter. Just take it. Um, he attacks for two. Uh, what have I got? What have I got? I've got nothing. I'm going to defend. Oh, I don't take any damage because I defended. <laughs> he defends for three. So that's fine. It's not even a question. Uh, then the encounter. Uh, each bounty hunter minion it, it attacks the hero is engaged with. Oh, that's a shame. Alright, so this one again, I'll just defend. Uh, two minus one is one. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. All right, my turn. Okay. Uh, well, Guild safe, safe House just goes straight into play. So let's see what else we can do. One, two, Three. We'll play Getsuo. We'll immediately attack for four. One, two, three, four. Consequential for attacking, and one more for retaliate. So still alive. I'm going to flip the boba. And safe house. One, two, three. Yeah. It's not looking good. Ready. Um, four, five, six. Oh man, what's going on? Oh, there's my weapon at least. That's my identity weapon. It's pretty good. Mm, okay. Then. Uh, betrayed ex-partner and nothing what's the definition of you does that count my allies Does not relate to your heroes. There you go. See, Google. 
This has all the answers you need. Okay. Um, so what was that? Oh, okay, so that was the forced effect from the thing. No, quick strike doesn't affect it, that happen because he's in alter ego, so that's handy. Um, but Verena now attacks. Uh, oh no, she schemes. Two. Wait. Is there anything? Is there any clues? Yep. I have not been checking for clues when she attacks. I really got to change it to they attach to her. I'm going to do that. Otherwise, it's just too easy to not know. So she's scheming for two, three, four, five, six. knock on into Otter Ego because now these guys all do it too one two three so the first one's enough to bump it all right target located when revealed if any player does not control at least one character with a clue attached reset the scheme back to 2b um, I do so that's fine uh, if all players do not control at least one character with a clue attached proceed to 3b Force response. At the end of the player phase, any player who does not control at least one character with a clue attached must discard their hand. At the end of the player phase, if no player controls at least one character with a clue attached, if, if at the end of the player phase, if no player yeah, controls at least one character with a clue attached, reset this game back to 2B. So that's both multiplayer and solo specific. So if you're playing multiplayer and one of those players doesn't have a clue, because you remember you only need one, then they just have to discard their hand. But if you're playing solo though, at the end of the player phase, if no player controls at least one character with a clue attached, reset back to 2B again. If the scheme is completed, the players lose the game. And it starts with one. It goes up to eight. So basically I just can't lose this clue if I can help it. All right. Encounter card. I still haven't done the encounter card. So encounter card is Cocky Hunter. Well, that's no good. There's one out of play. So the problem with doing this is that it means they're now in play, which means it affects him. They're not meant to be in play. They're not meant to be attached. So I'm just going to keep them separate and just put them over here. Separate, but keep them over here. All right. So really, he's just getting that. My turn. Um. Yeah. So. I'm gonna draw a card. I should heal. But I'm gonna draw a card. Okay. Right. Right. Hmm. Okay, let's flip the Boba Fett.
Okay, defense, defense, defense. Okay, let's use sidestep to generate a resource, exhaust the bounty so it counts as double, and give me my blaster. Katsuo is going to deal two points of damage to Verena and die. But it also means that she now goes to stage two. I don't need to worry about these anymore. Which is Myra. Bounty target gets shuffled back in. Then I draw two cards. Oh. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Um, okay, all right, bounty target goes on Cocky Hunter, because he's the one, he's the one that's next going to die. So let's put it on him. Let's spend that and that to play Quick Strike, which does two points of damage to him. And then Boba Fett will hit him for two. So Quick Bounty Target gets shuffled back in, he dies, and I get two cards. Okay. Now we're cooking with gas. Bounty target now goes on the trade X partner. Desperate defense will ready me. Jetpack and disciplined killer. Oh. We'll pay for Risk Gauntlet gives me a point, a hit point. I now get Retaliate and Attack 1. Retaliate and Attack 1. Boba Fett and my, Gaunt, my Blaster is 4, 5. I'm now doing 5. No, I don't need my Blaster. I'm doing three. One, two, three. And then my gauntlet is engaged with me, so I'll do one point of damage. So it hits four, so he's dead. This goes back into my deck. He's dead. And I draw two. So one, and then... One, I 
Okay, well, slave one is of no use to me. It's pointless. Um, so I'll use slave one. Oh, I can't ready again. It's once per. Live it once per round. Okay, all right. Um, Oh, I didn't need to bounty target. I didn't need to rest gauntlet because bounty target gave me an extra point of damage anyway. So I guess I'll just risk gauntlet this guy. Just for the sake of it. Actually, no, I'll risk gauntlet Dengar so I get rid of his tough. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. I think that's it. Now, do I alter? E was I already alter ego at the start of this turn? I think I was because I guild, I guild safe house. Yeah. So. I'll just get rid of slave one just because I just don't need it. So I'm ready. Ready. My hand size is now three, four, five, six. Because that's not a tech card. Okay. Six. Alright. And I need to get an encounter card because I reset my deck. All right, uh, pointless, pointless. I should just take him out for this quest. It's pointless. Um, okay. All right. Okay. One, two. Got a one, two. Yep. Sweet. No minions. Great. Myra attacks. Guess I'm defending. Yeah, okay, well I'm defending. Um, so she's doing three plus one is four. My defense is two, three. And I ignore a point of damage, so I ignore that point of damage. But I'll, what I'll do is I'll use not today anyway. So I can remove two threat. Okay, so I've done that. Um, so I removed two threat, that makes sense. Alright, so Mari's done her attack. So then we've got this guy who I ignore because he bounces off my armor, and then Dengar attacking for two, um, which I'll just have to take. Oh no, I can use IG88 to play sidestep and to prevent that damage because I used an energy resource I deal one point of damage and because it's me and because bounty targets on there I do another point of damage okay alright this is work this is working this is working. All right, uh, counter card. Counter card number one. We'll give each player X plus one, where X is the number of clues they control. So two. 
So I get two more encounter cards. Okay, let's move this across to here and get encounter card and encounter card. All right, next one is add threat to the main scheme equal to the number of side schemes in play. If there are no side schemes in play, so she encounter card the deck. Well, there is a side scheme in play, so threat. Excuse me, Underworld Thug, Minion, and last one, Street Scum. Another couple of Minions. Alright. Me! Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, I'm going to Ahsoka so I can ready. No, you know what? I'm going to Katsuo so I can ready. Either way, I'm rendering. Um, all right. So I attack for two, three, four, five with overkill. So if I attack him for five, I'm doing three overkill. And I get two cards. Plus he takes an extra point of damage. Yeah, so I'm actually doing six. Two, three, four, five, six, overkill. He only needs two to die. So I'm doing four, which I'll use to kill him. So I kill him and these two dudes this gets shuffled back in I get two cards okay I'm cool with this I am cool with this I'll use energy to give me a soaker who gives me a card I'm going to risk going at this guy just because I'm sick of him hanging around. Get shuffled back in. So now it's just this guy. And then. So he's going to attack for one. I mean, why not? Reset. Three, four, five, six. Oh no, I shouldn't have taken, I shouldn't have gotten these two. Which is a shame because they would have been cool, but no. Um, I should have only gotten those four because it's six minus two. Let's not get crazy. Alright, 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 alright. So, okay, all right. One, two cards. Okay, underworld thug, and so it's gone. So it's gone. Myra now attacks. I'm 
I'm going to defend with that. So I'm defending for four. Am I? No, it's three. Where do I get four from? Ah, oh, but then I reduce four, right? So I'm defending for three plus reduce. So three, two. Okay. So I will defiance to play never back down. I get plus two defense. So I'm easily defended. And I took no damage, so I stun her. So it's that taken care of. Now these guys. Uh, one, I take nothing from my because of my armor. This guy, I'll just take the one. Defend for one armor. So I'll just take it. Don't care. Okay, encounter card. Oh, gotta add one threat. Go to this guy's attack. Counter card is the villain schemes. One, two, three. Well, that's scary. That is scary. Okay, my turn. Yeah, I don't like that at all. I'm gonna play dive bomb to ready. Um, got a bounty target. Um, and then kill him. No, I don't even need to calculate it. It's just it's dead. Hundred percent dead. Uh, and get two cards. Slice the system. Thank God. Oh, it only does three. Ah, oh, damn. Ah, oh, oh well. Life goes on. Play strength to play. Slice the system, which is one, two, three. And then disciplined killer to place play band plan B. I risk all at this guy for one. It's because I can. And then that's pretty much it. Oh, I should have retaliated. It's if I'm attacked, right? Retaliate is if you're attacked, not just if you're damaged. So she attacked me, so I should automatically do retaliate back. Okay, I can't remember if I missed any other triggers, but I definitely missed the last one, so that's gone. All right. Um, I think that's it. I don't think I can do anything else. I mean, Ahsoka could do something, but is it worth losing her block ability? Actually, you know what? It is. <laughs> I'm just going to reduce some threat. I, I can't threat out. After this late stage of the game, that would be a disaster. So I'll just take away some threat. Alright. Um, what am I now? Six, yeah? Three, four, five, six. Yeah. Yeah, that would be very bad. Yeah, baby! Just waiting for that bad boy to show up. Okay, one, so I do one, yep, Lucas, and two, nope, 
Uh, Mara would attack, but she can't. She's stunned. This guy attacks, which I ignore, and then Zookus would attack. Then Zookus would take any amount of damage, discard the top card of the encounter deck, reduce their damage by the number of boost icons on that card. If the discarded card was fall on, prevent all of the damage instead, and Zookus gains retaliate one. Okay. Um, anyway, so he's attacks. Uh, use power of protection to do first hit it does two damage um, and I'll just defend the two which means I defend easily and I can retaliate for one. Oh, retaliate means that he would have died too so either way they got Go. Shuffle back into the candidate. Oh wait, let's do that again. Let's go to the top count of the entire reduce the damage by number of boost icons. None. <laughs> He's dead. That's cool though. I should yeah, that that was important to remember that. I could have cancelled that whole first hit completely. Um, I didn't actually need to defend. I could have just taken the one point of damage and retaliated and killed him anyway, right? Yeah. Okay, doesn't matter. Uh, Bounty target, I guess, is now going on her. Nobody else, and I'll use survival instincts to pay for tap maintenance, which gives me all my calendars back. So one and then one, two, three. Um, it doesn't do it for that because I need for upgrades. Um, then I'll plan B. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to plan B because it's worth more. I can kill her in one hit if I don't plan B. Yeah, I'm better off not plan B. So I'll reset, get my cards, so I get it at five. One, and then Boba Fett, which I can't have, because I am Boba Fett. And two. Should I get another card, because I can't have him? If you get a double, it's just automatically discarded. Do you then get another one to replace it? Look it up. Unique.
Sorry about that. Um, I'm not sure about the thing, unique thing, though, so I'm just going to leave it as if it's, it's just as gone. And I've got this guy. No, there's nothing, I can't see anything that says that you replace it if it comes into play. So. Uh, if I'm wrong, someone please let me know. Uh, anyway, so there's that. So, Myra now attacks. Um, I'm going to defend because I get a lot of bonuses if I do. So, Myra attacks for three plus nothing. Bounty card. So, um, I could just defend just straight up and just retaliate. Yeah, because I've already got three, so that's three plus nothing. Um, I'm going to use Desperate Defense because Mara, when she attacked me, she blanked my text box and I can't use my ability to ready. So, even though I don't need the plus two, um, I'm actually going to Desperate Defense. So... Let's use Preemptive Strike to play for Desperate Defense, which lets me ready. Uh, she plus... she gets retaliated anyway. And because it's... It's on attack, so she doesn't get the extra point of damage. Okay. Right, so now this guy then attacks. You know what, I'm just going to take it. So it reduces by one. So I'll take the one. But then I retaliate for one. Cool. The counter card is each player discards the card with the highest cost from their hand. If a tie, the player chooses. Any player that could not discard a card must exhaust their identity. Discard a card with the highest cost. So there is a tie. It's a three-way tie. Um, it'll be this one. See you later. Gone. All right, my turn. Um, I'm going to Discipline Killer. Mar, Cop that. She takes 8 points of damage. She's dead. So, Bounty Target gets shuffled back in. I get 2 cards. Phase and first aid, okay. Um, and now I get my target, my bounty target. Who is it? It's revealed. Dun, dun, dun. It's Jin Erso! 2 3. Jin Erso's attacks gain range, bounty rebel, force response. When Jin Erso activates, you must discard a random card from your hand, or she gets plus 2 scheme attack for this activation. Uh. That's not too bad. Hit points 11. This is a rebellion. And she rebels. Cool. I haven't bothered being checking these because I've got a glue guard. <laughs> it only becomes a problem if you lose your glue guard. That is an issue. Alright, and if it did, I would just thwart this and then immediately get another one back into my hand. So, it's not the end of the world. Just can't let it thwart out, that's all. Two, three. All right. So she got knocked out. My bounty's now revealed. Now I can take her out. Um, it's still my turn. I can't afford bays. I cannot afford bays. So I'm just gonna hit her. Two, three, four, five. Attack her for five. Like I can't let her live. Can I do anything else? I can't afford bays. 
So I'm just going to spend him to heal. And then I'm just going to stab this guy in the face for one. Oh, no. Myra's gone, so I can use my ability now. I'm going to not heal. I'm going to put first aid and bays back on my hand. I'm going to use bays to instead ready so that I can just kill this dude. Because I don't want him adding threat. None of this adding threat bullcrap. Yeah. Let's do that. I could have just flame thrown him, to be fair. I forgot that it was even there. Hey Maggie Dog, how you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Um and then I'll just plan B. The first aid. Bugger it. One, two. Why not? She's down to four. I mean, that's... I think I'm pretty good here. I'm feeling pretty confident about this. Um, get my hand a six. Yeah, now it's pretty much a given. So, I'm... Um, I'm looking forward to this now. Uh, boink. Threat. One. Yep. It's a minion. Two. It's not a minion. Um... Gene attacks. I'll defend. She attacks for three. Five. Um, I'll use unflappable to play first hit. Oh no, I won't. It's a minion. Silly, silly, silly. Um... Oh, you know what? Bugger it. I'll just defend. So I'm defending for two, three. What is she doing? Five. So three. And I ignore one. So I'm taking one. And I retaliate for one. Got that. Um, then this dude attacks me for one, which I ignore. And in counter card. Unwilling influence. Searching counter deck and discard pile for a clue card attached to the minion to a minion in play. Uh, you can attach it to here. Okay. Search for a clue card. Attach it to a minion. Got that. Now it's my turn. Now I'm even more confident because. She's only got three more to live. Oh, she attacked. I didn't discard a card. Let's discard one of these cards. Oh, actually, I didn't have any cards. Wait, I didn't have any cards. Hmm. I've missed a trigger. I'm just going to say she had plus two attack and take two more points of damage. I'll just do that. That makes it fair. All right, my turn. Um... Unflappable to ready. And then kill her. Attack. And she's dead. Just to rub just to rub it in, I'll do a concussion blaster, which also kills this guy. Because of overkill. Just to rub it in. But wow, that was that was an intense game. Boba Fett, the only one able to win, and it was down to the wire. Only three off from losing. Um, if that had been Luke instead of Jin, it would have been a disaster. It would have kicked the crap out of me. So a couple of lucky rounds with that, that one round when I had Bounty Target. 
trigger multiple times. That was pretty cool. That was very helpful. Um, yeah. The other ones, it was hard. Oh well, there you go. Um, I like it. Leave some, uh, leave leave a comment if you would be so kind um, on the on the scheme. I don't think it needs any more tweaking. I think it works. It's a little clunky. It's not quite as as smooth as I would like it, as I envisioned. Um, but it, I mean, technically, it works. I don't know if it's. I just don't know if if it's fun. I mean, it's kind of hard. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know there's anything wrong with hard. Blackwing's meant to be hard. Um, and that's a little clunky too. The Blackwing thing with the whole, with the barricade, the hasty barricade. It, thematically, it works great. But mechanically, it's kind of... Uh, this is not the greatest. How close to ending the... Was, oh, so close to getting an acceleration token. The bane of my existence. Yeah, it works. I just don't think it's as fun as it possibly could have been. Uh, I don't know. I'd be very interested in your opinions. Maggie, you jumped in right at the end. I was about to log off. I hope you're doing well. stretch it's important to stretch people you can't be sitting on, on your butt the entire day you gotta have some stretching Ugh. Huh? Sorry, Maggie's, I think Maggie's away from your keyboard but anyway anybody else uh, thank you very much for watching um, really appreciate it and uh, yeah leave some feedback uh, if you wouldn't mind I'd really appreciate it just uh, does the scenario even work like is it even worth I don't know, I'm a, bit, I'm a bit iffy about it. I'm not quite as confident about it as I was, say, Hoth. My Hoth scenario is awesome, if I do say so myself. <laughs> but this one, I'm kind of like, uh, it's not quite working the way I thought. So, I don't know. Let's see if there's any ideas about it and stuff. Uh, but one thing I do love, though, I gotta tell you, is Boba Fett. My Boba Fett is awesome. He works. It starts off slow, and then once he ramps up, it's just devastation. Yeah. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, comment, all that sort of stuff. Uh, but most importantly, though, thank you very much for watching and look after yourselves, look after each other. Live long and prosper. <laughs> May the force be with you. All of that sort of stuff. Uh, ciao, take care.